Hi guys, welcome back. A few weeks ago I showed you how to repurpose some old curtains and I did five different ways on that. So if you want to check out that video first, then that's there. Um, but I wanted to change this because it has a Christmassy theme. Uh, I wanted something durable, something that was white clean because I've got three men in my life. I've got my boys and my husband and they are messy. So if you've got children and they're dropping spaghetti bolognese or red sauce and you want a quick wipe off, so you don't want it to stain at all. Um, I was having a look through Dun Elm and I found this wonderful fabric and it's PVC. Um, it's about a metre by one metre forty which is about 50 inches. It's white clean, it doesn't fray, you could actually make it into a tablecloth. So this is the actual size that you would get which is quite a lot and it was only six pounds. So that's going to refresh on there, it's going to be nice and clean. So if you want to see how it turns out, keep watching and I'll show you how to make it. So first of all, we need to take our base off, so we're going to turn the chair over and unfasten the bolts. So do this with all the other three chairs. So here are our four bases, all ready to go. We're going to place them on top. Now we just need to find the width and the length of the actual seat base, because all the chairs will be different. So just check your size. Just to let, let it overlap, and I'm going to do about 60 centimetres, and then probably do 60 again. So measure yours, and then we'll work it out on the actual fabric. So with my ruler, I'm going to draw a nice straight line through all the marks that I've made. Now we're going to cut out this square. Now we need to make three more of these, so you can either measure it out, or you can use this as a template over the top and just draw around it, which I'm going to do. So these are our square little pieces of fabric that we've cut out. So all we need to do is turn one face down, get your seat cover, just slightly off centre because we're going to put more fabric over this side than there. So all we need to do is with our little staple gun, just right in the middle, like so. Now we're going to pull this really tight I'm going to do the same again, and one either side here as well, pull nice and tight. So now we're going to do the corners, I'm just going to spin it around so I can show you here. Now we're going to try and make this as neat as possible as we can, so we're going to pull tight again as we did before, and we're slowly going to just move fabric round and so you get it nice and tight there. So we're just going to put a staple in just to hold it and we'll do the same again and the staple again and we'll make these nice and straight. So that's our one edge there. So we just need to do the whole lot now. So we've covered all of our chair seats, so we just need to put them back on and tighten them all up. So this is the end result and they absolutely look fabulous and I know any spills, any drinks, any tomato ketchup, it's all going to wipe off. Um, I've also got some extra left over because I've bought two metres uh, of it which cost me £12, so I've worked it out and each seat has cost me about £2 because I've got that leftover little bit there. So £2 each seat and I think that's worth the money. Um, if you've liked the video then give me a little thumbs up. If you've really liked it and you're new to the channel then consider subscribing and then don't forget to press that notification bell and then press all and then that will let you know when I've made my next creation.